right? Uh, you want to make sure you are shifting your weight from one foot to the other. So you kind of want to start with just stepping or marching. So step on each feet, get used to the transfer of the weight. You should never have uh, both feet down at the same time. So you want to get used to that. Then the up and down step requires you to have one foot on the ball of your foot, which is the same thing as a toe. You're going on the toe and then the other foot is flat. So again, we're going up on our toe, flat, up on our toe, flat, up on our toe, flat. Get used to this movement. Make sure you're lifting each foot off of the ground. Again, only one foot should be touching the ground at the same time. So, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five. That's a uh, up and down step. Another technique to add is uh, make sure when you go up, you keep the left leg straight. So I'm going up on my right leg, my left leg is straight, it's not bending. So I go up on my right toe, it's straight. When I go on my left foot, it has a soft knee, meaning there's a soft bend, and my right knee actually bends when it comes up. So, and one, and two, and three, and four. Straight, bend, straight, bend, straight, bend, straight, bend. Perfect. That's essentially the up and down step. The only other thing that you can add is if you are a girl, you can add your hips to it. So when I go up on my right toe, my right hip goes, goes up. One. When I go on my left foot, my left hip sits into the ground. So and one, and two, and three, and four. If you were to clap to the music, it's the flat foot that's hitting that beat. So and one, and two, and three, and four.